In this video, I'm going to show you why you should track the day of the week that you enter your trades. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about day of the week analysis in trading and how it can help you become a better trader. So if you track the days of the week and your wins, losses and break evens on each of the days, you might start to see some patterns that can help you improve your trading results. So for example, I have some sample data here and um, this is a trading strategy that I'm testing. Uh, so I don't have a ton of data on it yet, but the numbers are starting to look pretty good. So for example, on Monday, I have a 37.5% win rate and this is uh, 23 trades. And then Tuesday through Friday, I have a uh, 50 to 57, no, 53 to 65 percent win rate, which is pretty good. Which is what I'm targeting for this uh, trading strategy. So, if there's any day that I'm probably going to cut out, it's Monday. Now, oddly enough, Sunday usually isn't a great day either, and there are only uh, six trades here, five wins and one break even. So, I would be reluctant to start trading this on Sundays until I get more data. And that's the beauty of tracking your wins, losses, and break evens, uh, and seeing the actual numbers of trades in each category, because you can start to see, okay, is this you know is this a significant number? If I have a fifty percent win rate, but I only have one win and one loss, then that doesn't help too much, right? But if you can see all of the wins, all of the losses, and all of the break evens, then you can start to get a better picture of how day of the week analysis could help you. Now, a lot of trading platforms, a lot of trading journals, they don't break out the break evens. And I believe that that is really important because at least for myself, I move a lot of trades to technically, well, to I call it break even, but it's technically plus five pips, right? So if you move it to plus five pips, you get stopped out, you, you make a small profit. And on other trading platform or other journal platforms, that shows up as a win. And it's technically not a win, it's a break even. And you really want to separate that out so that you understand, okay, when is price really going to a profitable level or when I, when am I closing it out at a profitable level versus just kind of stopping out at break even. So uh, breaking it out this way, I think is the best way to do it. It gives you a better picture of your overall trading results. And I would encourage you to do it. You can use Razor Journal or you can use an Excel spreadsheet. It doesn't matter, just use something. Um, in Excel, you can. there's a formula where you can take any date and it'll give you the day of the week. I, I believe it'll give you the, the name of the day, but some platforms like um, Google Docs maybe? Yeah, some of those spreadsheet platforms anyway, um, they give you the day of the week as a number. So for example, zero is Sunday, one is Monday. And then from there, you have to use like a translation table to translate those numbers into days or you could just leave the numbers as they are uh, if if you're okay with that and then start to to uh, calculate the wins losses and break evens and then um, collect all that data into one spreadsheet and you can start to see numbers like this so I hope that helped I hope it can improve your trading this isn't going to help everyone but as long as you do this analysis and you understand okay there is an advantage to you know trading on certain days of the week or there isn't an advantage. And that is a huge help, at least psychologically, to, uh, it allows you to get rid of the doubt, maybe that's in the back of your head, uh, in terms of which days of the week shouldn't I be trading? Oh, this trader said that, you know, Friday is a bad day to trade. Well, does your data tell you that? Or is are you just listening to them, right? So uh, do this for yourself and see what you come up with. All right, if you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching.